Samana and Mzanze, Tobala Mzanze, Dumala Mzanze, Bordia, Africa Resu, we are good day to all of you talented, gifted, and potential folk. Campiones out there. Now, what I want you to do today is just to get a pen out, get a piece of paper out, and just write down these two words. Only two words. I'm not asking you to write an entire sentence. Just two words. The first one is tenacity. The second one is matters. Tenacity matters. Now, I know that word tenacity might seem like a very big and large. What on earth does that even mean? The word tenacity simply means that when the enemy picks up a brick and smacks you through your face and you laying there on the floor you need to make a decision you're either going to feel sorry for yourself and submit to mediocrity and apathy or you're going to arise and shine and become every single thing that God has called you to be and I know listen man I know that you are going to make it through whatever you're currently facing right now in your life it might be tough it might be hard but God is busy developing and cultivating tenacity in you because for whatever you want to do on this earth whether that is to open up a business whether that is to go into full-time ministry, whether that is to go and study, whether that is to raise up a family, you need to be tenacious. Now, I remember after giving my life to Christ, you know, I was training hard, was, was, was working hard, trying to get the professional contract and all of that. And I remember my two roommates both ended up signing contracts and I was like, I was despondent, man. I was discouraged because like, listen, why, why didn't I get the breakthrough? You know, I gave my life to Christ. Things are supposed to go well for us. But nonetheless, they ended up signing these two contracts. And I don't know if my mom called me or if I called my mom and she simply shared with me, she wasn't like, oh, yamar boki, I'm so sorry you didn't sign. She wasn't like that. She gave me some truth and she shared with me, listen, why don't I go and pray for people at the hospital? Come on, in the midst of my pain, in the midst of what I'm busy facing, my mom encouraged me to be a blessing to other people. And that has always just stuck with me. So what I want to encourage you with today is simply go out and refresh others in the midst of your storm, in the midst of your trial, in the midst of your suffering, in the midst of your adversity, in the midst of your pain. Go out and serve other people. Go out and add value to other people because as you refresh others, you too will be refreshed. So just know today the tenacity for whatever God has called you to do. Tenacity matters. Until next time, my name is William George Moises. This is the King in Me show on Beginet TV. And know today, Namslanje, that your life matters.